Today I'll be going over my NSP setup for the Air Jordan 1 Electro Oranges dropping tomorrow, July 17th. But before I get into that, if you if you need a cook group or some ISP proxies, watch my sponsorship video real quick that I'm about to play so you guys can get a discount on those. If you guys are still looking for a cook group, I highly suggest you guys get Drop Alert. Now that I'm sponsored by Drop Alert, you can use my promo code JC15 to get 15% off your order. As you can see here, it's $20 a month. so. Give it a try, try out a month and see how it works for you. Also, if you're in need of some proxies, I highly recommend you guys get Oculus ISPs. Um, now that I am sponsored by Oculus, you can get 25% off your order if you use my promo code JC, exactly how you see it on the screen right now. So head over to Oculus if you need ISPs, use the promo code, get your 25% off and let's see how the proxies work for you. So now I'll get into the setup. Um, I'm going to go over all four foot sites and then... I'm going to go over a few Shopify sites like Shoe Palace, Jimmy Jazz, and Shop Nice Kick. So I'm going to start off with Foot Locker first. And remember, the steps I'm going to do for Foot Locker is exactly the same as Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. So you obviously type in Foot Locker. Always have the mode right here on Smooth. And for the SKU, here's how you get it. You go to the Foot Locker website, go under Releases. <coughs> And you can see here they have a men's pair and a grade school pair. I'm going to go over the men's first. So it'll take you to this page. You just scroll down to the bottom. And right here where it shows the product number, this is the SKU. So just copy and paste that into the bot. Just like that. <clears throat> for sizes, if you don't care what size you want, you get, just leave it blank for random. Or you could type in RA. Those are both the same thing. You can see here they're having sizes 7.5 through 18. So I don't know if you want, you know, sizes 15 and above. So I would type out like 7.5 through 14. Here's, and here's how you do it. You just type in the number. And then separate each number with a comma. And don't put any spaces. So you just do it exactly like this. So it's that simple. You just type it in like that. Billing profile. Select your billing. So for proxies, here's what I'm using at the moment. I'm using um, my Jiru Residential, Leaf Residential, Stealth Residential, Deft, which is a new proxy that I'm trying out. So you can't really get this at the moment. It's private, but I'm going to be trying that out for tomorrow. And then obviously my Oculus ISPs. So th th that's what I'm using at the moment. Advanced, I like to leave this alone. So I just, I leave these blank and I don't even click on this. So that's what I do. Schedule task. I start my task five to 10 minutes before the drop. My drop is at 7 a.m. since I live on the West Coast. So I'm going to start mine 10 minutes before, so at 6.50 a.m. And then for Foot Locker, <clears throat> if you have the mode on smooth, you don't have to deal with captures, so you don't have to click on this. So after you set that up, submit that. And that's pretty much how you set up the task for the men's pair on Foot Locker. For the grade school pair, exactly the same thing. <clears throat> you just click on the grade school shoe, scroll down, and here's the product number which is the SKU, and you just copy and paste that in. Size is the same thing. It looks like they're having sizes 3.5 to 7. I'm personally going to go for 4.5 to 7, so I would type it out like this. You wouldn't type in 7Y for 7 youth. You would just type in the numbers only. So just remember, just remember that. So submit that, and that's pretty much how you make the tasks for Foot Locker. Those steps, exactly the same as Champ Sports, Foot Action, and East Bay. You see here when you type in Champ Sports, it has the same um, questions here. Put that on smooth. For the SKUs and sizes, they're, got, they're all going to be the same as well. I went, I went ahead and got all the SKUs for you guys, so here it is. In case you want to pause the video, um, put those in. But that's basically all four foot sites and the men's and grade school SKUs. So I'm not going to go over Champ Sports, Foot Action, and East Bay since all the information is right here. So next, I'm going to go over a Shopify site. So Shoe Palace. For the mode right here, always have it on Cyborg 3.0. And you can see here there's a link you could get, a variant or keywords. You, when setting up tasks, you can only use one of these. You can't use two or all three. So if you could get a link, which you can for Shoe Palace, always use the link. So here's how you get it. Head over to the Shoe Palace website. Go to Releases, and then here's the shoes. So here's the men's pair, you just click on it. 
it'll take you to the product page and we go up here where it shows the link and you just simply copy and paste that into the bot where it says link right here it's that easy for shoe palace sizes they're having sizes seven and a half all the way to 16 I'll be going for seven and a half through 14 but let's just say I want a random size I could, I'll just leave it blank billing select your billings for this is a Shopify site so I recommend you use no proxy a ISP or a DC proxy if you have one so for shoe palace I'll be using my oculus ISPs advanced I like to leave that alone schedule task I'm gonna start my shoe palace task 10 minutes before the drop and I'm gonna leave these two unclicked as well so that's how you set up for the men's shoe on shoe palace so for the grade school pair you would do exactly the same thing here's the grade school you just click on it head it up here and just copy and paste the link they're having sizes 4 to 7 just so you guys know just paste that in and that's pretty much how you set up the task for shoe palace that step is exactly the same as Jimmy Jazz and um, Shop Nice Kicks as well. The only thing different between Jimmy Jazz, Shop Nice Kicks, and Shoe Palace is that Jimmy Jazz, Jimmy Jazz, you would schedule your task um, five to eight minutes before the drop. Shoe Palace, you would start it about ten minutes before the drop. So just remember that when you're setting up the task. But anyways, Jimmy Jazz, put it on Cyborg 3.0, and there's also a link you could get for it. So head over to releases and it'll take you to this to the releases page you can see both shoes right here so you just click on like for example I'm clicking the men's uh, the men's pair and you just copy and paste the link <clears throat> and again this is a Shopify site so use an ISP DC or no proxy so I'm gonna mix it up so for Jimmy Jazz I'll go with no proxy starting this about eight minutes before the drop so at 652 a.m. And I'm going to submit that. So the last thing I'm going to go over now is Shop Nice Kicks. And it's the same exact steps. There's a link you could get. Head over to the launches page when you're on the website. Here's the shoes. You just click on it. It'll take you to the product page. And then just copy and paste the link. So once you get used to this, it's super, super easy to set up tasks. You'll be setting it up. You'll be setting up your tasks really fast. So what I say, start this five to eight minutes before. So I'm gonna mix it up and start this five minutes before, and then submit that. So that's pretty much how you set up your task for tomorrow, um, Jordan One Electro Orange. Remember, for Foot Locker, exactly the same steps as Champ Sports East Bay and Foot Action. Here's the SKUs for those one more time, so you could copy and paste it down. They're all the same SKUs as well for each site, so that makes it a lot easier to set up your task. Remember for Shoe Palace, Jimmy Jazz, Shop Nice Kicks, I recommend you guys use the link. You use a link instead of the variant or keywords. So when you get to this page, find go find the link like I showed you guys. Don't use variant or keywords. Link just it just makes it easier to pick up the shoe. So just remember that when you're setting up the task. But that's pretty much gonna be today's video. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. We're getting closer and closer to 1,000 subs, so please, every sub, every subscriber counts. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, but that's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. If I do hit a pair tomorrow, I'll be posting a live cop, so stay tuned for that.